The good Alex said, leave her alone. She's Skippy's girl. What did the bad Alex say? Shut up, good Alex. Take her. She's yours. <laughs> Shut up, bad Alex. <laughs> he was a lovable best friend on the hit 80s sitcom Family Ties. Actor Mark Price played Skippy, Michael J. Fox's sidekick on the show. Well, Price has been busy behind the scenes producing and writing for so many television networks, including E! and The Animal Planet. And he's still on the comedy circuit, bringing his show right here to San Diego coming up this weekend for the San Diego Comedy Festival. Thank First you. of all, good morning good and thank morning. you for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. How often do people stop and go, Skippy, I remember you. Well, people do that, old people. Uh, <laughs> well, the, I would do it and the, I would Well, no, 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 we're not, we're not old. But the, the other people, millennials don't really know the show. It's right. just a fact. And a lot of the comedy club audiences don't really know Family Ties. So I don't do a lot of jokes about it in the show, but it's uh, for the people that do know it, it's fun. and. I, I love the fact that I was a part of such a great show. I'm proud of it. I know, and I was looking back at the clips on YouTube from Family Ties over the years, and it really almost made me feel nostalgic. Like, it was such a sweet time in television history. What happened to that? We don't yeah. have these shows anymore that have the, the strong father figure as the focus of the family. Yeah, but there's a million things to watch now. I, there <laughs> is. There is. Trust me, it's 800 channels yeah, on my right. cable And they're provider. all iffy. I know, I know. And I have to choose. By the time me and my girlfriend pick something, I'm ready to go to bed. It's like, okay. I, I hear I fall asleep. Yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, it was a different time. And I, th I have a theory because we had uh, great writers and producers. Gary David Goldberg was our executive producer. Fantastic talent. It all started there. But all the writers were great. And they all learned. We had a combination of young writers and and older guys that had been around Mary Tyler Moore and all mm. kinds of great shows. And that was something they used to do. They used to bring in the young guys and they would learn from the older guys. They don't do that anymore. It's all young guys now. Okay. And I think they lose something by that. Yeah, and then it's, you know, it's just not the same. Uh, how Talk about the cast. Do you still keep in touch with Michael J. Fox and everybody else? We do. We keep in touch. We uh, we don't all get together all the time, but we did have a big reunion a few years back, I and saw that, that was fun. Yeah. And um, we're raising money for Michael J. Fox's foundation on this tour. Yeah, talk about the tour because it's coming here to San Diego. Yes, and it's multi days. I mean, it's going to be here. Starting... Well, it's tonight through Saturday night. Okay. But the festival, the comedy festival, goes on another week after that. Right. And um, uh, let's see. Uh, all the merchandise sales, the 100% of the proceeds goes to Michael J. Fox Foundation, it's including the T-shirt. You brought me? Including the T-shirt. Can I show everybody the T-shirt that you <laughs> brought? Uh, see what camera Skippy we can Skippy and this. Alex from the show, and it says, uh, "In the '80s, liberals and conservatives used to be friends." <laughs> What happened? See, I thought it was and, a good old day. And the other thing is tonight, for Thursday night, this is at the Comedy Palace, by the way. Which is down the street from our Kearney Mesa studio here. And, and, and we should talk about the show, but if they use the code MJF tonight, $5 Michael off. Michael J. Fox, MJF. And 100% of the ticket sale goes to Michael J. Fox Foundation. Well, thank you for what you're doing for him and for other folks dealing with uh, that debilitating well, disease. Well, he's a hero. He, he was a mentor. And um, what can I say? He's a friend. So getting on stage, I mean, we saw you play Skippy on the show. I know you've done, been, as we mentioned before, doing a lot of things behind the scenes for things like the Animal Planet, I think uh, Disney, the E! Network. But on stage, when the, the spotlight's just on you and it's you in a microphone, what is that like? What, what can you expect from my stand-up comedy show? <laughs> Not a refund. Okay, well, there okay, you go. What, I will be I like begging for my money back. Uh, okay. This is a very special week. I've been doing this a long time. You know, I went on the Murph Griffin Show when I was 14. Mm. Uh, I was on Comic Relief uh, way back when on HBO with Robin Williams as one of the hosts. Right. And that brings us to what this show is all about. This show is all about Robin Williams. And the impersonators. And what? there's so many of them. What? Yeah. Now, I don't know how many impersonators there are, but there's one guy. His name is Roger Cabler, and he plays Robin Williams. And he really captures, which is seemingly impossible to, you know, somebody might look like him or sound like him, but how could you be funny like him and bring that life force of love and laughter that, that Robin had? Somehow, Roger nails it. And, and the show is so powerful because it's like you're watching Robin Williams tonight. And it's I original material, too. It's like you're watching a concert right now. It's how complicated that must be for him to step well, inside Robin he, Williams' he mind. He feels that literally Robin has tapped him to use his body as a vessel wow. to continue making people laugh. How's that one? I use my body as a vessel for Domino's Pizza. <laughs> He's got something going on. And uh, it is trippy, I will say. I've been there. I've been a part of it. There's certain nights where, uh, you know, 
Robin is on stage yeah, and, and, and sometimes he can't help it when we're in their car and stuff he falls into Robin and we have conversations and deep conversations and stuff it's like I want to sit in the back seat of this car I want to see what this is like uh, okay for folks that want to get information about the comedy festival as a whole where can they go for that well the uh, comedy palace is uh, the place to go there's a website and uh, phone number and all that good stuff I think they got it up What's on the it right screen there on the there? screen yes yeah, San and Diego comedy is the website if you or the com yeah the comedy palace is really I think another place to go to do that fantastic but they could call her you're on stage tonight then? we're on stage tonight it's our opening night here we were in Los Angeles we're going to 50 cities right now I love San Diego do you know I made a movie here which one killer tomatoes eat France there <laughs> in San Diego the, the Killer Tomatoes guys are from San Diego, and I want to s send a, a, a warm hello to John DeBello, my old buddy, the director of the film, and a crazy, talented cat who taught me how wonderful San Diego is. He's a big believer, and he got me into it. Oh, I'm so glad that uh, you're down here. Yes. America's finest city. To, uh, it is. Uh, just, like, it is. I travel on. all over. I'm qualified. Well, yeah, and this is not a bad place to be, that's for sure. Uh, thank you so much, Mike Price, for coming in. I want to call you Skippy so bad, and I'm <laughs> sure I'm not the only one who does I've that. I've grown to, to cope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend calls me Skippy. My sisters call me Skippy. Okay, then I'm not going to uh, shy away. Skippy, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to you, Eric, at the desk.